Welcome back to Catherine's Plates where today I'm going to show you how to make a cheddar, broccoli, and potato soup. So creamy, so full of flavor, perfect for these cool blustery days or even those snowy cold days that I know some of y'all have right now. If y'all are ready, I'm going to bring you over to the sink and we're going to talk potatoes. Now I'm just going to scrub about one to one and a half pounds of potatoes. We're leaving the skin on because that's how my husband likes it in his soup. So I'm just going to scrub it really good. Now if you want to peel your potatoes, you can do that also. These are really large russet potatoes. I'm just going to dry them off really well. We're going to want to dice these into bite-sized pieces. So I'm going to bring my dicer over here and let it do all the work. So I'm just going to slice my potatoes into the thickness that I want. You can even just cut the potato in slices, cut them into sticks. And then you have your own dices right here. It looks like I might need just one and a half of those big large potatoes. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a lot. Yep, perfect. I'll just leave that off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my onion. All right, I took off the two ends. The outer layer, I'm going to peel off. Mmm, I can't wait for this soup. Let me get a better knife. There we go. It's my husband's favorite soup. In fact, I have a recipe in my cookbook just for the broccoli cheddar soup. And it doesn't have the potatoes in it, but I make potato soup by itself. I'm just combining the two. So I'm just rough chopping the onion here because we're going to be sauteing this down and it'll add a nice flavor. I've been thinking about soups for a little bit here, ready for them. Now I'm just using two heads of broccoli and I'll be cutting off the little pieces here. I'm going to give these a rinse. I'm pretty much just trying to get everything ready first before I start my soup so it's all ready to go. So I'm going to go into the crown of the broccoli and cut off nice bite-sized pieces. I was going to do this in the crock pot, but I don't want to wait that long for the soup. So we're just going to do it in our big soup pot or Dutch oven and get done a lot faster. Now if you have any big pieces, you can just break them up, cut them up. I'm going to be using my cast iron Dutch oven. I'm going to turn it on to a medium high heat. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter and start melting that. Now I'm just going to add just a tad bit of some cooking oil. This is avocado oil so it'll add a nice flavor but not too much. We don't want to put too much in there. Just a little drizzle. Get that going. Right, I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. We want to saute these down until they're nice and browned. It'll add a nice caramelization to our soup. Alright, I've got some salt and pepper. We're just going to go ahead and season the onions while they're cooking so they're nice and flavored. Just a little pinch of both. I'm going to bring you back once these onions are nice and softened down and browned. Okay, while I've got my onions browning, I'm going to go ahead and start shredding my carrot. Now I've got a really large carrot here. I'm just going to peel it really quick. Take off the end. And just start shredding it. 
add a nice color to the dish and a nice sweetness. Don't forget to check your onions. Just a few more minutes on those. I think I'm going to do half of this carrot. It's pretty large carrot. <laughs> That's good right there. Those onions smell so delicious. What I'm gonna do now is add one tablespoon of some minced garlic. I'm gonna add the shredded carrot. Now I'm just using the back edge of my knife to scrape up the carrot, not the front end, because you don't wanna dull your blade. But give that a mix. Ooh, looks good in there, doesn't it? We're going to add all of our potatoes. Let's give this a mix. All right, we don't want to saute the potatoes. <laughs> We're going to go ahead now and start adding our broth. About six to eight cups. This is chicken broth. As I'm adding my broth, I'm going to turn my heat up to a high. If we can bring this to a boil. I'm going to kind of gauge what I need here. I might do all eight cups. There, that was two boxes. I'm going to give this a mix. I'm going to give the broth a taste, see if we need to season any more. Definitely some pepper and a little bit of salt. We got a lot of potatoes. We're going to have broccoli that we need to season. Give that a mix. We're going to bring this to a boil and then what we're going to do is let it simmer until our potatoes are fork tender. I mean, they're like almost mashable. And that's when you'll know when your potatoes are done and then we're going to finish this soup off. Still got a few more things to do. While my soup is coming to a boil, and the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start shredding up my cheddar cheese. You're going to want about three cups. Yeah, just like that. All right, three cups. I'm going to add a little more flavor to the soup here. In my recipe for broccoli cheddar soup, I had added cumin and paprika. So I'm going to do that with this soup here. So about half a teaspoon. Give it some warmth. Oh, that smells good. And the paprika. Add a little warmth flavor to it. And some color to it. I'm going to go ahead and just mix that up. We've got our potatoes simmering here. Just on a high heat. No lid on it. And be careful with your salt because, you know, we are adding all of that cheese at the end. So we want to test for the salt later. All right, once our potatoes are nice and softened, I'll bring you back. All right, we're going to go ahead and hold some of the potatoes out there. I'm going to use a fork and I'm just going to test for tenderness. Oh, yeah, breaking right apart. That's what you want. You'll be able to mush it with your fork. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and add our broccoli. Now our soup's going to start thickening up, so keep an eye on your broth. If you want to add more broth, you can. We're going to cook this down with the broccoli in it for two minutes. We want that broccoli to get nice and tender. I'm going to add eight ounces of some heavy whipping cream, or you can do half and half. And give that a stir. And then I'm going to slowly start adding in my three cups of cheddar cheese. and add it while I'm stirring. We want to continually simmer just for a few minutes until that broccoli gets nice and tender. Give this a stir until all of that cheese is melted and then just finish simmering until you get to that desired texture for your broccoli. Look at this. Oh my. 
See if you need to add anything else. Any salt, any pepper. Oh, that's good. I'm not adding anything else to this. It's delicious. All right. Just a few more minutes and I'm going to turn the burner off. Hey, what did y'all think of my cheesy broccoli potato soup? Perfect for your cool, blustery days or even cold, winter, snowy days that I know some of y'all have. It smells delicious, you guys. I wish y'all could smell it. Let me show you this in a bowl. You can add some extra cheese if you want to and melt that in. Mm. All right, there's my bite right there. Mm. I'm hoping for leftovers on this one for a few days. I really want to nosh on that. Mm. That is so creamy, full of flavor. I love those potatoes and that broccoli is just the right texture. That's so good. Okay, y'all let me know if you want to try this soup. Let me know any other favorites that you may have. I'm going to link my playlist to all of my soups down below in the description box, or you can even find them on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. I'm going to move over here just a little bit. That way I can show you this recipe right here. If you want to check that one out, I'll meet you over there. If you are new to the channel, you can click right here and subscribe, and that way you'll always know when any of my videos are posted. And then just make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you are notified. All right, y'all. I'm going to click off, <laughs> and I'll see you on my next episode.